Okay guys, I'm going to start off using Max um, eye primer. It's, it's the extended 24 hour eye primer all over my eye and even into my brows. Okay, so now I'm going to use my Laura Mercier powder and this is the original one and I'm going to set my brows before I go into my eyebrow pencil to um, scoped out these brows. You see they're kind of thin. Alright, so now I'm going to do my brows. I'm going to use the Anastasia's um, brow pencil. I think this is like the pr uh, precise one. Um, this is in dark brown. And I'm going to uh, carve out my, um, my arch and then go enter the inner part of my brow. Um, I don't try to do real boxy brows. I, I really don't like that. So I'm going to sculpt on top and then go and do the front part and try to not make it look boxy. I like to make my brows look really nice and natural looking. So there. Okay, now we're going into the concealer. I'm using um, NARS Soft Matte Concealer. This is in Amande. And I'm going underneath my brows to scope that out. To, you know, just clean it up. Um, I don't do the top part of my brows because I feel like um, we're getting in the halo brow, you know, when you do that. Even when I do clients' um, brows, I try to just go under. And if I want to scope on under the top part of it, I use the foundation to do that um so it doesn't give like a a, a real too structured type of, of a brow you know you want to look soft not over the top and you, but if you want to look over the top that's cool with me just not my cup of tea Okay, so now we're going into Anastasia's Dark Brown. This is basically how I do my brows. I'm using the light part um, for the inner part of my eye and the outer. I'm using the darker color. Um, this is basically how I do my brows if I'm using um, a pomade or even a pencil. Sometimes I just, I need to clean up my brows and I don't like really using pomades all the time because I really like to have more control over it but I really really like that um that brow pencil by Anastasia I pretty much love all their um brow products even the eyeshadow even the eyeshadows are really cool too okay now I'm going into my base I'm using the P Louise um base this is a number two um I like this um i think it's cool but i just feel like i can get the same result with a concealer um a lighter concealer all over my eye i don't know if i would actually buy another one of these i probably won't i could just use a lighter maybe um the nars soft matte in a light light color and i feel like it'll do the same thing All right, so we're getting into the colors. I'm using that green um, golden apple shade. This is the Ace Beauty. This is the um, the classical paradise. And I really wanted I really wanted this palette for that green color. I feel that um, all of the eyeshadows. I don't care what palette it is. They all perform the same. Um, yeah, I really don't like these um, palettes. I really regret buying them. All right, now we're going to go into that orange color right there on into the crease. And I'm going to blend and buff up 
Um, I still don't really like this palette. Um, it really needs to be on a wet base to make this work for you. It's a lot of padding and you, you have to, you know, you got to try to buff it out, but it's just, ooh. Okay, guys, so now I'm going into that bright orange from the um, other Ace of Beauty palette. I feel like I went astray. I should have went into that burgundy color first. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to show it to you. But um, these are the steps I took. Um, I used that green and then went back into the orange color. And I feel like it got muddy. So I ended up just using more of the burgundy color all over the eye. Well, into the crease. Okay, so now this is the um, burgundy color that I put out on the V of my um, outer part of my eye. Um, and I ended up later taking that color further up so that it blended with that green. Um, cause I didn't like the how, I didn't like the gradients of these colors together. So I don't think I showed that part of when I was fixing it. I just really didn't like the, the gradients of all these colors together. Okay, so now I use my Tarte Shape Tape. This is in Fair Neutral. I use that to um, to carve out my um, cut crease. Um, yeah, I really did not like the gradients of this. That's why after I cut the crease, I think I blended more of that burgundy color up top. And to, to try to hide some of that green, because I didn't really like how that green looked on my eye. So, yeah, I'm using a... Um, concealer brush. This is from Laura Mercier. This is their flat, um, I think, um, flat brush or liner brush. I think it, that's what it is. I think it's their flat liner brush. I don't think they sell it anymore. I got it at Sephora. Um, if you do find it, please let me know because I love this brush. I would love to get another one. So, yeah. Okay, guys, now I'm going to go into the lid color. I'm going to use that yellowish color right there. It's a darker um, yellow. Um, it's really pretty. I really feel like I should have did something with the green and the yellow and, and orange, but I feel like I did that already, so I was trying to use that Pacific green, and I feel like I just uh, it just didn't work so well you know, in theory. Now I'm going into that green color and um, the apple green. I'm putting that on the outer part. See, I like that together. I just don't like the blending in the crease. I don't know. I feel a little, a little, you know, crazy about this, but it just bothered me. That's why I ended up taking that um, burgundy color up further. I didn't like how that cr the crease looked. And then I go back into yellow to blend out that um, that line. No harsh lines at all. And then go back into the green. See, I like that. I just don't like the crease. So now I'm jumping into the eyeliner that I'm using. That's um, Ink Lot 77. And as you can see, I blended that um, that um that green off well not off but I blended that burgundy color and I took it further up so that I you couldn't see the green anymore I just did not I just could not go with this the way it looked that's how I saved it I just basically used a thin brush and I went into the crease and then I went back into the yellow and the green to make sure it still looked more precise and that's me winging out my eye. Ooh, I still got it. Haven't did a wing liner in a very long time. I use Ink Lots um, Daryl Line to bring that liner back to life. Oh, in this um, well line eyeliner eyeliner brush. Um, I will have to leave down below because I really don't remember the name of it. But yeah. Look at that. Wing, wing, wing it on out. Because it's kind of like bent a little bit. And I absolutely love this brush. Oh, so pretty.
Okay, so now we're going into the face. We're using Tatcha setting, setting Mist all over the face. And then I'm going to go into Smashbox Primer Oil. And then we're going into uh, Marc Jacobs Coconut um, Primer and Becca Ever Matte. And then we're going to put the foundation on. We're using um, Cover FX um, in 100. Um... It's the Natural Finish um, Foundation. Using a beauty blender on my fist. Buffing, that, buffing it out. I really, really like that foundation because it's a really nice finish. And it looks really... Um, well, I'm not really into so much of matte foundation like I used to. It's a very nice, good coverage. Okay, guys, now I'm going into my concealer. This is um, Urban Decay's All Nighter Concealer. This is um, in dark. I'm using um, this, and I'm going to drag it outward. And I'm going to use a brush to buff that on out. Um, I It's okay. I think it's really good coverage. It's just that I'm not really... Um, I really, I don't know if I really like using the brush as much um, as using my um, beauty blender. Um, now I'm using the Laura Mercier setting powder. I'm using the the original one to set up under my eyes, my um, chin, and my forehead. Um, I just found, <laughs> don't judge me, I just found this powder. And today I just wanted to use it. So, yeah, I'm just going to um, set everything. And then I'm going to also use um, some to put to carve out my, um, my contour. Okay, now I haven't been using this in a very long time. This is my Motives um, Sculpt Series. I think this was in the, the darkest shade, the darkest um, palette. I don't know if they still have these anymore. But I am using that dark color, and I'm going to uh, contour um, my face. I'm going to um, also put a little bit on my nose. Yes, go with the preciseness. So, um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to blend it out with a different brush. It is, what brush am I using? Um, I think that is a brush from Sephora. And so I'm going to buff that on out. I'm trying to make my forehead not look so big. I have not used this um, in a while. It doesn't have any red tone to it, so it's more gray. Um, it's okay. I could have used something a little bit more, a little bit more redder, like my um, Bobbi Brown um, stick foundation in number ten. Love that so much. All right, now I'm going to set my contour. I'm using a. Um, Tarte Contour Palette. This is Makeup, Makeup by Shayla's um, Contour Palette. I'm using the lighter um, brown in that palette because the darker one is way, way too dark. And now I'm using the dark part more on underneath my chin. And um, yeah, where I want more of a shadow. And yeah. Okay, so now I'm using... Um, Bare Minerals, Bare Pro, this is Truffle 29. I'm using that to buff off the um, powder. Now, as you can see, I feel like me laying that contour line or whatever down and using such a light um, setting powder, I really have to buff out that, um, that line. Now I'm using... Um, ugh. Urban Decay's All Nighter Spray to spray my face. And then I'm going into Bobbi Brown's um, Brick. And it's in bronze to um, highlight my face. All 
Okay guys, this is the finished look. Um, for some reason, I do not know, but my eye is watering in the inner part of my eye. I'm gonna try to fix it. I don't really think it's really gonna fix. Wait, what are you? Of one half vegan, half super meaty pizza, please. Thanks very much. Take a look at this. If he starts at the shop here on Main Street, going the speed limit through the city, even with calculated shortcuts. There's no way okay. I use this palette and a little bit of the brighter palette, which is the Slice of Paradise. This is the classical paradise. I do not like these palettes. Like, no. No, I was kind of pissed that I had to do what I had to, but I said I was going to do um, one more look. This is it. <laughs> I want to get into other things, other eyeshadows, other than these. These are horrible. Um, this one was better working with one another, like playing with each other. This one, no. I didn't get to get into the purple, but I didn't want to anymore. I really felt defeated, and I just didn't want to get into this palette anymore. Um, these are okay if you're going to use one eyeshadow. Um, I won't say one eyeshadow. Because um, this orange did blend with, the, uh, with this one, but it's just... Oh my God. Blending, it, it becomes patchy, and then you have to pat into it. It just, it's a pain. It's too much to work with. Hold on, let me show both of them. They're too much, it's just too too hard to work with. Um, this look, I was able to continuously blend, even get this, and it still wasn't exactly how I wanted it. I got eyeshadow that fell. Down underneath my eye. Um, I can't take this jacket off. I'm burning up. So this, that jacket is from um, Macy's. I got it like a while ago. Um, I'm not doing um off of the day to day. I am too hot and I it took too much for me to even sit down now to do a tutorial because I have been procrastinating for two weeks um I will be changing my purse because I promised you guys that but um this is August the third and I'm just I don't know I'm not in the mood to sit down and oh my God, to record I don't know why I just wasn't in the mood to record in about two weeks um, I forced myself today to sit down and record this um, I have so much to say about this hair about um, this palette can stick with the palettes um, I don't think these are worth getting um, they're, they're patchy some don't blend with one another I'm really angry that like these two colors are so much alike but I, I think I used this one right here it don't really show up the purple is it was a beautiful purple when you swatch it but it does not blend well on your eyes and then the fact that you can see pan I used this like two times like really the blue is pretty so is kiwi the blue bell is great uh, not great but it's a pretty color um, if you do a one color on the eye and then cut the crease and then add one color or two on the eye like I did now I got this idea from Remy Ma she was on State of the Union or State of the Culture? State of the Culture. And her eyes were somewhat like this. I like the green that she had on. I don't even understand this one because that's not even the same color. That, I mean, when you swatch it. Um, I really had hopes for this palette. And, and at least I, I know the VCR Editorial 8 is chalky. But it, it still performs. You know, I can you know put anything in the crease 
cut the crease I can add colors on top of one another they play well together these do not play well together and they're patchy so is this one but not as much as that one um, I like these colors right here the green is what I really wanted it for and that performed and so did the yellow um, so did this one on my brow bone I just I, I would not grab these palettes since I am going out of town I will be doing a video when I pack my makeup bag what I'm bringing it won't be this it won't be this um, I don't even know what to do with it because I really don't want to like get back into these if I do use them it'll be like one color to blend or deepen something but it will not be like a whole look with this this is like no I am so let down these were $38 a piece I do not like these palettes I really don't um, I wanted to get back into my Makeup Geek palettes because I realized when I saw Marlena's um, video, I ha I have so many eyeshadows from her and I haven't used them in such a long time. And I wanted to get back into them. It's just that more things start coming out and I started um, going makeup crazy. So, um, I want to get into that and some other things that's in my palette. I want to do more um, fall looks. Oh, okay also I just got this right here I didn't want to do a haul because this is this I bought um I saw somebody use this and I really wanted to try it I just used it today when I sprayed this on my uh, on my face I feel like the the sprayer the I don't know how to say it but it um it didn't really work well because I got like chunks of glitter all over my face and I had to like blend it out the glow is real I think it's pretty I may change the bottle because I have some other um, setting sprays it's like almost gone and I probably just fill it with that and just just use the spray bottle and see if there's a difference but right now like in my boob area it's like really really Glitterily, glittery, that's not a word. Um, glitter, <laughs> I can't say it, but a lot of chunky glitter on the boobs. And I, I don't know, I don't know about you. Prep, set, and glow. Iconic London. I didn't get this off uh, also, which I should have. I got it from the um, actual site. Oh, no. I have to use this again, but I want to put it in another bottle. So, this is the look. My hair looks kind of flat. I'm going to do a video about my hair in a minute. So, hope you enjoyed this video, and bye until next time.